Hello and welcome to Cooking with Crunk. I'm your host, Patrick Warburton, and I play Crunk. Now today we have two very special guests joining the show. A warm welcome for my dear close friends and the directors of Crunk's new groove, Saul and Elliot. Hey, so All right. How you doing, Hello. Patrick? Very well. Welcome to the show, guys. Hey, thanks for having us. All right. Now, what are you going to show us today? Well, Patrick, we are going to show you how to cook, cook up a movie. Picture, if you will. Elliot and I were trying to develop the perfect recipe for the film. All we wanted was the big thumbs up. The big thumbs up from Poppy. No, from the head of the studio. Anyway, we just wanted to get the big thumbs up, and we'd do just about anything to get it. Anything? Yeah, that's right. Oh, you would do anything? Well, I don't see why not. Would you work 10-hour days? I have. Would you dress up like a sheep herdist named Maria? <laughs> okay, guys, I think that we are getting ahead of ourselves. What is the uh, first step when cooking up a movie? The first ingredient, you need directors. And places, please! Action! Basically, as a director, you're looking at a blank canvas, and you visualize a painting of what you want to create, and your team is behind you, right? and you tell them all, this is the movie we're making, this is the painting we're gonna make, and they look at you like you're nuts. What are you, nuts? We're the yes. guys with the flag in the army who yeah. run ahead of everybody, you know, with that standard bearer. Come on, everyone, follow me. Bingo! As a producer on Kronk, I really wanted to clear away any obstacles that would get in the way of Saul and Elliot. Let them focus on making a great movie, and hopefully I, as a producer, can take care of all the problems that, frankly, nobody wants to deal with. That's my job. I sure hope the chef here knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, so do I. Next thing we're gonna need, good script. Without that, you're in trouble. When I write, I do the voices as I type the dialogue, so you kind of have to hear it out loud. It's me, you idiot. Oh yeah, yeah, that's uh, all right, it's uh, yeah. wait, who are we talking about here? Now I really don't know what to say. Within this story, we have really worked hard at finding a way to really care about Kronk and to show a new side of his heart that you maybe didn't see in the first film. Hey Kronk, how's dinner coming? As a voice actor in a picture like this, everything is so clearly laid out. From storyboard art to the entire concept, everything's there. So it's really easy. You voice your character. You, as long as you have an understanding of what he's all about, you really do just have to have fun with it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Too much salt in my spinach puffs? Oh, I should also like to thank the little people. But what do they matter? <laughs> We here to honor me. 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 <laughs> That's hot. These must back. <laughs> she always feels that she's become a goody goody person, but she's not really interested in being a goody goody. What a bore. I have a proposition for you. It's all right to be good. But you gotta have a little joie de vivre going on. What does it take to get some food around here? Talk to the chef. Next, we planned out every scene using storyboards. Storyboards are sketches that show exactly what's gonna happen in the movie. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Well, I animated on the original, The Emperor's New Groove, and uh, I animated Kronk. So it was really fun to get back to doing this character again. We really added a lot more layers to his personality. He has a father that he's afraid of. He now has a love interest. You have to be able to translate your inner feelings and, and your inner thinking and thoughts onto that piece of paper and make him come alive. Perfect. You're, you're just an actor with a pencil. Saul and Elliot were terrific actors. They had a very good handle on how Kronk moves and what kind of expressions he, he would have. So either I would act it out in front of a mirror for myself or they would act it out. This is good. You want to make it bad. But the way the robot is done is like a lot of, you know, kind of overlapping actions. The way the arms come up is great, but we need them to actually do this little turn as they go in. When the knees touch, the hands switch. Now, yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah. Kronk's new group is a very graphic looking picture. It has a lot of clear silhouettes 
um, very strong bold shapes that also um, work in the background as well as the graphic nature of the characters against those backgrounds. In the end, we just kind of dumped in a lot of colors. Yeah. Wait, what? And now we're ready for editing. Where we broke new ground on this film. Uh, crazy. Aren't you forgetting something? He's a little crazy. Mm-hmm. Oh, a lot crazy, baby. Crazy in love with filmmaking. <laughs> That's weird. Advice for anybody who wants to get into the animation business. Well, you have to be able to draw very well. Start drawing right away. You should constantly be drawing and taking a sketchbook with you and draw people sitting at the bus stop and quick sketches of people in the restaurant. Because that's what all of our characters are based on, the human figure. We're just caricaturing that figure. What's with you? It's my father. Wanting to please your parents is sort of a common theme that I think a lot of people can identify with because we're all born wanting to please our parents. If I lose the house, so let Poppy down. My father has actually always been very uh, supportive and accepting. We have very nurturing parents. My mom always used to say when she would drag me into art classes on Saturday morning, one day you're going to thank me for this. That's right. And now, Mom, I thank you. Well, I think we all look at our fathers as something somewhat impossible to live up to. My father is a surgeon. I'm an actor. He saves lives. I goof around. Who's hungry? Let's eat. And voila! You have a movie! Wow. So after we finished our recipe and the movie was done, we went to go show the studio boss. And we waited. And waited. And we waited. Nervously. Anxiously. Uneasily. Apprehensively. Fearfully. I can't think of any more. How about fretfully? Nice! Can we just move on, please? Yeah, guys, let's keep this moving. And finally, it happened. What's also very important for us, for people that watch this film, to learn something. You know, not just to be entertained, but to actually walk away and to be thinking about their own lives a little deeper. If there's a message, it's, uh to be true to yourself. Right. Right. <laughs> Wherever you are in life, whatever you want, work hard, believe in yourself, and anything's possible. <laughs> <laughs>